G'day ladies and gentlemen, and I hope you're all well out there. My name is Ben Beavis. I'm an Australian living in London, UK. Uh, majority of my work is session commercial stuff, but my day job uh, allows me to going into uh, classical uh, as well as jazz. So I have to be quite versatile out there. Um, these I got sent these mouthpieces. Um, these are called brand, brand mouthpieces. So they're Swiss made. Uh, I got sent the screen, the lead, perfect, we will see, and groove, and the one that's in my horn at the moment is called jazz. Now, I think each mouthpiece is very well made, uh, very strong. Uh, the, one of the greatest things about them is they're extremely comfortable on the face, which, let's face it, as brass players... That's what we're looking for, isn't it? Something that goes on the face and feels comfortable, soft, uh, actually really, just really lovely to play, actually. I'm very surprised. I've never played um, many plastic mouthpieces. I'm more of a, a brass guy or gold guy. Um, and as it just, that's what I felt suits my lips. But these are extremely comfortable to play. And I'm extremely happy that they sent these out to me. So this one's called the Jazz. Uh, I would say it's probably around a 3C. Uh, it's got a great, uh, not too big uh, lip on it, um, going down to the high point of the cup. It's, yeah, you can smooth on it. You can uh, smoochy on it. You can just play around. It's a great all-round mouthpiece, uh, and they haven't sacrificed range on it. And the great thing that most of these mouthpieces are doing is they will play straight through the center uh, for you. Uh, so in the end, if the mistake's there, it's probably your mistake. <laughs> so let me just play a bit for you. I'll play, I'll play a few scales just to show you the, um, just to show you how that goes through the registers and how nice and open it is. Uh, and then I might smooch it on a bit. I'll, I'll play. I'll give a little demo. As you can see, it's just it's just a lovely mouthpiece that covers most things. Uh, the compression's great for intervals as well. It's just a great all-round mouthpiece. I really like this. Uh, I'd probably use this in jazz quartets and uh, third, fourth chair of a big band. Uh, you could even dabble in some classical with it if that's how you felt. Uh, it's extremely comfortable. Uh, one thing I do like uh, before I move on to the next mouthpiece is just how the rims are all the same uh, for all these. So literally, it doesn't feel any different when it goes on your face. It's just the different in in 
slotting of notes uh, that you get with the different uh, throats to back balls and the different cups. Now this one's called the Groove. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can play on anything again on this. I find this one pops a bit more than the Jazz. Uh, just the notes are just they are a little bit brighter, a little bit more well, poppy in a way, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a great mouthpiece. I like this one as well. Um, so here's a little bit on this. Beautiful low centered range. Uh, yeah, that is the groove. It, it's a cool mouthpiece. I like it. It could easily uh, double again in a bit of classical if you wanted. Um, and you could easily fluff on it. Uh, Easily able to control volume, everything. The, they've got the pressure right on that. It's it's a it's a it's a lovely mouthpiece. Next mouthpiece is quite different. Uh, so you're probably looking at probably around a five C cup, maybe, maybe a little shallower, maybe maybe a seven C. Uh, but I would say probably close to a five C. But it actually feels bigger than that. It probably feels around a three or a two uh, because I don't know whether you can see but they've got a very high side on the lip. So where the high point sits, starts at the cup, they've actually lowered that, um, which makes the mouthpiece feel a lot bigger than what it is. But it also makes a nice sort of slot, a lovely center to each note. Now this could easily be uh, a crossover mouthpiece for someone who plays classical and then goes into the jazz world. Um, let me play a little bit for you on this. As you can see, it's quite versatile. Uh, I mean, I was making the chords up right there, uh, as you could probably tell. Uh, but it's extremely versatile. I really like this mouthpiece because of the versatility of it. Um, so as I said, it could easily do a classical number as well. got incredible slotting 
Uh, and again, the compression is great, so you don't lose anything on your range. Uh, and lip trills um, really pop between each note rather than, uh, I'll just demo it for you. It's a real great all-round mouthpiece. Um, to say it's perfect, it could it could be out of these ones. It could be perfect for each genre. So you might maybe the perfect mouthpiece to be able to swap. How's that sound? Uh, the next mouthpiece I got is the lead mouthpiece. Now this is definitely probably around a seven C. The lead probably is quite V uh, shaped cup. Again, well built. They've, they've also got these grooves on the inside. I don't know whether you can see them. You can probably just see the condensation from me playing. Uh, they've got these grooves on the inside, and they're all um, spiraled, spiraled around, uh, very slow, slightly spiraled uh, as it goes down the back bore, uh, make helping the air uh, turn, and uh, that's giving a nice free blow. Uh, they've really got a lot of the compression right on these mouthpieces. The lead one is. Uh, in my mind, it's it's great. It's a great lead mouthpiece. It does everything you need as long as you don't muscle it. I mean, you can muscle this one a lot more than the Scream mouthpiece. Um, so it's slightly more open throat than the Scream mouthpiece. But apart from that, it's it's a great mouthpiece. Let's have a bit of a blow on this. <laughs> Just threw that little bit in the end just to show that it's not all about high intensity with this mouthpiece. You can fluff on it and sit back on it and just allow the mouthpiece to do the work. It's a, You can definitely play soft uh, on these mouthpieces and it's great. So that's the lead mouthpiece. And then we get to the screen mouthpiece. The screen mouthpiece is very similar to the lead mouthpiece, uh, but it's also got the similar concept to what the perfect is, which it has a little bit of a higher um, high point. Uh, so where from the lip to the high point of the cup, it's just that little bit more sharper. So helps pop, but it has great compression between the throat and the back bore, allowing you to sit back and not have to work so hard um, on playing up in the high register.
wasn't the best example, but it's, it's, it's a lovely mouthpiece. You don't have to work too hard on it and you don't have to sacrifice the low stuff. So I'll do a bit of lip slurring and a bit of tonguing down and, uh, and then I'll play a little bit of MacArthur Park. I'll put a bit of that in. So there you have it. That is all the brand mouthpieces. Uh, so Swiss made. Uh, that's from jazz all the way to the scream. I hope that's helped you uh, go through them. I hope it has anyway. But if I was you, I would go in and make sure for you, they feel comfortable. Uh, make sure they slot for you and make sure they do what you want to do. Uh, but as a mouthpiece, they are well made. Uh, and they're they're comfortable to play, and they've really got it right when it comes to compressions and everything. So, generally, all around great mouthpieces. Thanks very much for watching. Brand. <laughs>